Is the Venus Project a utopia or an alternative future? In this video, we will tell you about the most famous, grandiose, controversial, and incredible project of the future world, created by Jacques Fresco. Here we go. If you haven't already heard of the Venus Project, it is a model of a peaceful, sustainable civilization of the future in which technology and science are used to restructure our social system to create a high standard of living for everyone. The key points of the program are resource-based economics, general automation, the introduction of high-tech into all areas to improve the lives of everyone, and a scientific approach to solving each particular problem. So what's wrong with that? Jacques Fresco was radical in his reasoning. He understood that the problem he was trying to combat, war, poverty, and corruption, could not be solved in half measures. To eradicate them, he said, it was necessary to abolish borders, money, and politicians, and to recognize natural resources as the common heritage of humanity. After all, there will be enough resources for everyone, especially if we stop making things and equipment disposable. And it already looks like a utopia. But even Fresco himself had always said that he does not criticize the system, but only offers an alternative development option. And the basis for this option should be the education and training of the new generation. Children need to be taught not to perform a pattern of actions, but to evaluate the world around them and reason to understand everything from our history to cultural differences and environmental problems. In the future, according to Fresco, people must become universalists, able to apply their abilities to a wide variety of areas in life and science. But most importantly, everyone must have equal opportunities to realize their potential and technology must improve the world to such an extent. Let's see how, exactly. The most important point in the program of the Venus Project is automation. And here, you can't argue. Robotic lines and factories, and fully robotic factories, already exist. In the near future, there will be fully automated warehouses and logistics centers. Engineers in many countries around the world are working to automate agriculture. From unmanned aerial harvester drones to fully autonomous plant cultivation and harvesting systems, automation will take over more and more areas of our lives every year. And yes, it will potentially lead to increased unemployment, as not everyone will be able to retrain and learn new professions. This could be a problem for many people, including Elon Musk, who is proposing to solve this problem by introducing unconditional payments or similar cash benefits. Musk is sure that such a move will bring only positive changes. People will perform more interesting tasks, and there will be much more time for rest. Jacques Fresco's next idea was an automated creation of housing for all. The engineer even showed his vision of how it would happen, and it's very much like modern 3D printers for printing houses. They were already used to build an affordable housing block in Mexico, and this industry will definitely continue to grow. Fresco has created many models of aviation in the future, focusing on vertical takeoff and landing machines with screws hidden in the body. These are the kind of aero taxis with major players in the aviation market are trying to develop today, and within 10 to 15 years, they will become a familiar reality. Moving between cities, Fresco offered on tape plans through tunnels dug in the ground. Looks like the Hyperloop project by Elon Musk, doesn't it? The concept of a supersonic train that will travel by magnetic draft through specially equipped vacuum tunnels looks very attractive, and today it's being developed by several companies at the same time. Roads will also become safe due to the development of technology, namely autopilots. Fresco clearly demonstrated his idea to children with the help of magnets when one machine is pushed away from the other, preventing collisions. And we've already said more than once that a number of autopilot developers see the only way to ensure complete traffic safety only when the human factor is excluded i.e. the appearance of level 5 drones. <laughs> 